I'm Vicky Langan. And I'm Maximilian Lecain. We're behind one of the three experimental film society films that forms the visual aspect of Wilderness Notes. Experimental Film Society, or EFS for short, is a company dedicated to the production and screening of experimental cinema. It's based in Dublin and was founded and is run by Irish-Iranian filmmaker Ruzba Rashidi. Our films are distinguished by an uncompromisingly personal, experimental creative vision. They take an exploratory, often lyrical approach to filmmaking and foreground mood, atmosphere, visual rhythms, and the sensory interplay of sound and image. Sound is a crucially important aspect of our way of making films, so we were all immediately intrigued and excited to be invited to collaborate with a vibrant and creatively ambitious collective like the Kirkos Ensemble. In addition to our film, Ruzba Rashidi and Atusa Porhosini have also made films for this project. Creative freedom is a paramount concern for EFS, so one of the perhaps unusual ground rules laid down at the start was that none of the people involved in this collaboration would discuss the ideas with the others. The filmmakers would make whatever films we wanted, and the composers would respond to these films exactly as they saw fit, with no input or interference from us. This way, we all hope to surprise each other. In spite of this, we found the three films, although superficially different, all had similar themes, a similar perspective or worldview. They all explore psychic, territorial and technological margins. They evoke isolated characters, all somehow locked into masks or fixed personae, navigating desolate zones between dimensions where a sense of being physically adrift reflects an existential inner state. Vicky and I made a strange western that goes off in search of a narrative that it never quite finds. Rusba made a sort of deviation from a home movie, where the disintegration of the image and of relationships, and the nightmare of nuclear extinction, are all conflated into a sort of archetypal dread scenario. And Atusa shows us a world haunted by ghostly characters in ornate masks, who appear trapped in time loops generated by some past catastrophe. All the films make intense use of outdated moving image formats, notably Super 8 and VHS, which we manipulate in different ways through editing to bring the viewer an experience that feels at once oddly familiar as if being triggered in their memory, and at the same time completely alien and unsettling. We see these films as the ghosts of abandoned futures. <laughs>